Let me hear you say KO. Competition can't move me. Wrong's one thing you won't prove me. Bruce Lee, Ramas, take a slug when you What is going on, guys? Kilo here. Monday, so that means offensive tip time. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be looking at a play out of the Carolina playbook, and I believe it's also in Pittsburgh, might be a few others. Single back, Y trips, tight end slot, and the play is going to be Y trail. Now, I personally don't like to leave this formation a tight end slot. I would much prefer a faster receiver in that slot position. Um, I think in, I think I end up switching this out to um, Hickson, like just wasn't working for me either, but that's what I originally put there. And then I just put our you know number one tight end at the actual tight end position. Um, it might not even be a Y trips tight end slot thing in Pittsburgh. It might just be normal Y trips. But um, in any event, the play is Y trail. And what we're going to be doing on this play adjustment wise, guys, is we're going to be dragging our left receiver, blocking our running back, and motioning the right slot receiver over to the left. Um, what we have here is basically a play that I like to run to beat man with. Before I get into how I run the play, I just also want to point out to you guys, for you guys that don't know, the fade on the right side of the field is unbumpable. Um, if he was in like a cover one press or, or something like that, that cornerback would be absolutely raped. But you can see he doesn't even get the auto press from two man under because you just can't bump stock fade routes. Uh, so for those guys that didn't know that, there's a little knowledge. Um, he just doesn't get bumped. You know, he gets a free release, and um, I don't really particularly like throwing them against two man under, but it's there, uh, especially if, you know, they're running cover one, cover zero. He's just going to absolutely rape his defender if they try to press you. Um, <clears throat> what we have here is uh, the route on the left. This is the main route that we're going to be looking at against two man under. And it's just, I mean, it's, you know, pretty much the same route as the one on the uh, Arizona play that we looked at last week. But it, it just, I mean, it destroys man, absolutely destroys it. Then you're also going to have the uh, the tight end on the trail route as he comes back across the field. Trail route's kind of funny, guys. you got to throw it either really early or really late. If you try to throw it in that middle area, it's more than likely going to be picked off against man coverage. So a uh, nice fumble there by Hickson. Um, you don't want to, you know, throw that at the time that you would throw trail routes from Madden 12, Madden 11, so on and so forth. Um, they just they just won't work out well. Uh, but you can see that route over there just absolutely rapes the man coverage. He's in the slot, so he doesn't really get pressed. Um, now we're going to go ahead and just do it against a random play, kind of give you an idea as to the other things that you can do should you not have two men under or make a bad read or whatever the case may be. Um, and, again, guys, if you get cover zero, cover one, Cover one, I mean, either or will be open. Cover zero, either or will be open. But that fade is a real quick read against cover one press, cover zero press. Because the, the corner just will not even stay anywhere near him like he does in two man under with the auto bump. So that's uh, definitely something to look at. And then if you get zone, basically I just like to dump it down to either the drag or the, uh, the wide trail route. Um, either or, you know, depending if you know it's a zone blitz and pressure comes from the right, I might just throw it out quick to the tight end. Uh, usually, though, against zone, I'm just going to dump down to that drag because drags are really hard to defend from zone coverage, guys. Unless they have, you know, like a couple spies on the field, a couple flat zones, that drag is going to be open at some point or another against zone. And, um, you know, that makes them a really, really solid route to have on the field. It's always nice to have a safety valve, and that's exactly what that route is on this particular play. So my first read is to look at that slot receiver and see what's going on with him. Uh, if you have a feeling they're in cover one or cover zero, you might want to look at the fade first. Uh, then after I look at that route and then the you know the the corner route there, we're gonna be looking down to either the the trail or the drag. Right there we got cover one and you can see how wide open that got against cover one. So that's there for you as well. Um, the running back you can put on a route if you want. I mean I, I don't really put him on a route, but um, it's definitely possible. The quick run play here is a zone run to the left also. So the the motion from the right to the left actually helps out a lot with the zone run. You know, if you audible down to the zone run, you motion that guy over and nobody follows him like right here, you could go ahead and run that play with the extra blocker on the run side. So I hope you guys like this tip. Um, definitely check out my channel for more. Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow with the gameplay. So thanks, guys. Peace.